Choice. Allow voting. It's sometimes useful to be able to see at a glance how your learners are progressing or to gauge their opinions or needs. Moodle has an activity called Choice which allows teachers to set up voting options with radio buttons and a learner chooses a particular option. It doesn't only have to be how well you feel you're progressing. For example, in this choice, the students are asked to select a group for their project work. As a teacher, you can always see the responses because you have a View Responses link to take you into the reports. And if anyone fails to make a choice, you can make the selection on their behalf. Let's go into our course and set up a choice. To do this, we need to turn the editing on and then, in the section where we'd like to add our choice voting activity, we click the link Add an Activity or Resource. This brings up Moodle's Activity Chooser. Choice is an activity because students are interacting with Moodle. And when we click the button once, we see that there are various examples on the right of how you could use a choice activity, with a link to more help. We can click Add at the bottom or simply click the radio button twice to take us to the setup screen. The first thing to do is give it a name which will identify it on the course page for our learners. And we can give a description if we wish and tick the box to display this description on the course page. If we're only going to have a few options which will show as radio buttons, we can display them horizontally. If we think we're going to need a lot, then we can choose to display them vertically instead. If we allow the choice to be updated, a learner can change their mind. This might be useful if, for example, it's a choice about progress through the course and they might not be too sure of their progress on Monday, but they feel more confident on Wednesday. You can enable a setting to allow participants to make more than one selection if you think it's appropriate. For instance, when choosing preferred meeting times. If we limit the number of responses allowed, then only a certain number may choose each option. This might be useful if you need to put students into groups, or simply if you want to give them all a chocolate bar and you only have 10 of one particular type of chocolate bar. We then type in the options which we want to see against the radio buttons in each of these boxes. If we need more, we can click to add more. There are other settings which might be useful to explore at a later date, such as availability, if you want to set a time limit to your voting, and results, if you want to decide whether or not you want your learners to see each other's choices, and if you do, whether or not you want them to see the names of the students who have chosen or not. You might also wish to select to show a column for unanswered. This means then you can see instantly who hasn't done this task because they will appear in a column of their own and you may make the selection for them. We just then need to scroll down and click Save and Return to Course and we have set up a voting activity, a choice, for our learners.